morning y'all it has been a bit since i have vlogged welcome back to another home vlog i'm home this week i have not been filming like a ton but this week i'm craving a good old hour-long home vlog also with that being said we have a lot of home updates you maybe have already noticed my mom was here last week and we made a lot of little updates that is being shot for another thing i'm doing a home worthy house tour and if y'all have like watched the vlogs in the past six months i mean i don't feel like i've talked about this as much but like i watch a home worthy house tour every single day like on that table right there there's a coffee table book or a cookbook sorry from a girl that i discovered through home worthy i'm just obsessed they have like the best home tours in every single house like tells a story and it's just so cool um and i've been their biggest fan for a while so when they emailed me and asked me if i wanted to do a tour for them i was like obviously absolutely sign me up um so i'm really excited about that my house feels a lot cozier and there's a ton of stuff coming this week too a lot of i mean everything is like dupe or like on a budget because it's all either thrifted or from amazon or thrifted or at home so today's monday i am gonna do my morning reading and then i have my workout and i'll be taking y'all along i've really missed vlogging if y'all are new here subscribe mm -hmm. So I'm back from my workout and I'm getting ready for the day. I figured I would just kind of chat with y'all. I'm not like doing any makeup, but some of my favorite products lately, not sponsored, okay? This stuff, if you all like Baccarat perfume, you need this. It's $50 and every once in a while I'll find a product that I'm just like, this is the best thing that's happened to me recently. So deeply, positively affects my life, which just sounds stupid because it's a perfume, but I really love a good scent. And it is so good, $50. I do think they're coming on as a podcast sponsor, thankfully. Um, so I'll have a code soon, but this is like the Baccarat little um, like dupe, if you will. But it's crazy because it lasts so long. My friends who have Baccarat said that this lasts longer. And I've had a lot of people out in public be like, oh my god, you smell so good. And I'm like, thank you for asking. Like, I tell them everything about it because I'm obsessed with it. So, I've been like really, really loving that. So, Mondays are typically my like get stuff done that isn't like exciting. So, uh, I'm going to get a ton of like computer work done. I do have a couple home things that I might be able to do. I have therapy. It's more like personal appointments and computer stuff. Tuesdays are more of like my weekly meetings. So meetings with my team, with my editor, for friend of mine social, for house guest social, for all the house guest stuff. Friend of mine is now working with a PR team, so I have those. Like I just have a bunch of recurring weekly calls. I've been expanding a ton on the friend of mine side, and I feel like I've been like really good at delegating or getting a lot better at delegating. So that's that. And then tomorrow I'm actually filming another what's in my not on what's in my kitchen. Um, what did we decide on the name? Why my my brain fog has never been worse, but it's like in the kitchen with a friend of mine. In the kitchen with a friend of mine. That is our series. It's my cooking with Kenzie series. We're filming with Kylie Ross. There's a new Pilates studio I really want to try out this week. We're just like getting stuff done. So this is my working from home outfit of the day. Skims. Urban Outfitters, Ugg Slippers, Owl Tools, which like, I love Owl Tools. I got one package from them and I have been wearing their earrings every single day. They have the best stuff, the best budget, and um, a lot of it, like I have like, those really big chunky heart earrings that I've been wearing, the little ones. They're so cute and they're not heavy, they never annoy me, like they're really great jewelry brand that I love so the other thing I wanted to talk about that's just reminding me ignore my hair I like slept on it slightly wet so it looks really weird but whatever I'm not gonna do that today this glimmer hair mask while we're in my bathroom I'm just sharing everything I've been loving this glimmer hair mask is amazing it smells so good this is probably my fifth or my sixth that I've gone through and it is a 10 minute superfood hair mask Restores hair health, softness, and shine. And I will say, like, especially if I would have actually just finished drying my hair yesterday, my hair is so much softer and so much silkier. Like, it is probably 
the best thing I've put on my hair. I know Kate Davis swears by it for like hair growth, but honestly, just like the feeling of my hair is amazing with this glitter hair mask. I love it, I love it, I love it. I need to try the shampoo and conditioner. I know I just dropped that, but anyways, we are off. I did just recently reorganize my bathroom, and y'all probably saw it in the Sunday reset. It doesn't look so organized now, but it is organized in comparison, and it feels so much better. All right, y'all, so I got these from Amazon, and I know this is kind of crazy because why would I be doing fake plants when I have literal gardens? And that is why I'm doing fake plants over here. Ignore the pool, need to clean it today. But I need fake plants here, here, and here. I was going to do hydrangeas. I just don't want to deal with them dying in the upkeep. It's been very difficult over here. So I saw on House of Hargrove, I shot at her house, her friend of mine, she was doing fake flowers. And she has like the most perfect, amazing house. So I copied her. I didn't get the exact flowers, but I got stuff similar. And we're gonna see how this looks. Like maybe I'll hate it, but honestly, like, okay, like they do look plasticky, but it's gonna be far away. And I was shocked. I literally, like I saw her flowers and when I found out they were fake, I was like, I never would have guessed that. The other ones are probably better. I did order them, but they're not gonna be here for a month and I have my home tour literally next week. So I'm gonna do these on those pots and just see, and hopefully like from far away or something, they look good, you know? I mean, they look fine. Like, we'll see. I've just never done fake plants. These do look pretty plasticky, but like far away. I have bad vision anyways, like it's all blurry. So I think it's gonna be fine. y'all I actually really like the fake flowers like sure they're fake whatever but they look good and they're gonna hold up I do have a spray that will keep the green in um, hopefully as long as possible I did four boxes I'll have them on my Amazon storefront but I actually really like it I'll show it from further away I'm impressed like I honestly think it looks good I'll do the others um, hopefully tomorrow maybe Wednesday but I really think it looks good unless I'm just delusional but I think it's fine especially from far away Evening time, and I'm going to show y'all my home updates. My house is really warm. The AC stopped working a couple of hours ago, and it's been a nightmare. I was in the attic changing the filters, and like, I don't know, it's just not good. Anyways, here are some of the updates. I added some lamps. It's bothering me that these lines are, whatever, there's only so much you can do. These are from at home, and then this vase is also at home. This is also at home. Um, I'm waiting for more of these hydrangeas to arrive. I've added so many dried hydrangeas around the house. I'll have them linked on my Amazon storefront. I guess dried flowers are like my thing now, but it gives a very like Nancy Myers, like East Coast Nantucket sort of vibe. I'm not like full on Nancy Myers in the sense that there's no color. I like Nancy Myers with color and with personality. We have this going and this makes it so much cozier. Like lamps make a house feel like a home. Like. It has made the biggest difference. I don't even know if y'all are going to be able to tell, but it just feels so much better. Over here, please do not judge yet because the placement on these plates is really bad. Ignore this tripod. 
Um, well, first off, I did move all of the white chairs in the garage. I'm gonna kind of switch them out, just depending on the vibe, depending on the dinner party. Having two sets of chairs is really extra, yes, but these are from TJ Maxx and very inexpensive, so I'll link them up. They're still available. More hy dried hydrangeas, another vase. Again, everything will be on my storefront. So the placement on this is obviously off. We need to move those inward, and then we have more plates coming. But since we have more plates coming, we decided to just take a break and see it. So... Yeah, we have more plates for my plate wall, which I think is gonna be really cute and kind of just like the perfect touch in here. These are CW Anderson prints that I got on like a vintage shop online. This frame I got thrifting, so cute. I have these little framed cross stitch pieces that I found thrifting, so there's that one. And then there's this one, which I think is so cute. Come in the evening, come in the morning, come unexpected or come without warning. I just think it's super fun. I've got a lot of updates in here. So this is not how it's supposed to be, don't mind that, but I did get this yesterday from at home. It's so like Nancy Myers-esque. I think it's so cute. Like I will work with this somehow. I just have it out here, so don't forget. Over here, ignore this stuff. I was just moving it so it wouldn't be in the way. These are some, uh, what is the, oh, decor. But I'm doing a bunch of new pillows, so that's for tomorrow. I have this cute little Nancy Myers-esque corner table. Why does this light never work? I literally charged this this morning and it like never holds its charge, but this tray is only $30. It's a really good Serena and Lily dupe. I'm literally sweating right now, guys. Um, my grandma gave me that book, one of my favorite cookbooks. Again, more dried hydrangeas. Very cute, Nancy Myers-esque. Um, this is pretty crammed with just stuff right now. We're not done yet, but we did, okay, this is, this stuff needs to be moved out of the way. My house just got clean, so things are kind of all over the place, but that's the update there. I moved a print around. I love my Mackenzie Child stuff. I think it's just the cutest. I got another one of those mini lamps. It's supposed to go over here on this little table. Coco's been hanging out in her stroller. It's like I have a literal newborn. Um, these prints, I got the prints themselves from Nantucket. So cute, and then the frames from Amazon. I'll have that on my home storefront. We've kind of just been messing around with things in this corner. I'm not done with the coffee table at all. These prints are my grandma's that she gave me, so I'm gonna do these, and then I'm gonna do a little light above them. At least this one, probably that one as well. I think it'd be weird if it was just one, but really cute. We're not done styling these, but more dried hydrangeas. This was my little brother's. Um, and then, yeah, we just have the stuff. I just got this from at home yesterday. I like a more like eclectic, cute vibe, so fun. We've just been framing random stuff. Like this is just like showing you what CW Anderson prints were in that thing. And I just think that they're really cool. And I thrifted this vintage Nancy Drew books because I grew up on those, of course. Okay, this needs to be like puffed up. I got nicer dried hydrangeas and this is just like the extra of them, but they just fall. They're expensive. I mean, they're le definitely like better looking, but they're very pricey, so not realistic. These are just other needlepoint canvases I need to put away. In my little needlepoint stash, my needlepoint projects actually come out this week, but just cute little magazines and stuff that I have. I need to put these silk pillowcases on. All right, I think these prints are so cute there. I love that. And then I have this print that I just thrifted this weekend that I thought was so, or this art piece that I thought was so cute. And I think that that is mainly it. We're gonna watch The Met tonight in Needlepoint. I need to heat up some leftovers. I am so hot. Like there's nothing worse than your AC being up because my house is like constantly at like 67. What is y'all's at? 68 I would say for like guests, but if it's up to me, like I'm fine with like 62. Like I want to be freezing. So this is just not the most ideal. And I have friends coming over, so not good. The girls just left and made a little bit of progress on my needlepoint. Only this entire rooster minus the, a little bit of the light gray and the darker gray. Outline here, I need to do basket weave so I can do the background quicker, but it's looking cute. I mean, it's gonna take a long time. I'm not needlepointing as much as I was a couple months ago, but I'm so excited for this to actually be done. I'll be framing this to the kitchen somewhere. I also added some more dried hydrangeas that arrived to this pitcher that arrived. I mean, I'm just putting them literally everywhere in my house. They're making it so much cozier. I also added hydrangeas to that base. Not done with that corner either, but I love the little pops of color it's giving, so not sure what I'm doing with this exactly, but cute.
I am dressed for the day. I did my hair and makeup and I put on a real outfit because I'm filming this afternoon, which will be exciting. Um, this morning I have like, five or six meetings, so I'm going to hop on this goal soon. I've been trying to make sure I'm drinking more water. It feels so weird to like, I don't know, I never fully get dressed like this, but very Western. Oh, here's my outfit of the day, by the way. This shirt, and it's like fixed, but it's from Cezanne, Cezanne, which is like my go-to place for clothes right now. I love everything. This belt is my Revolve belt that is only $40. Normally, belts like this are so expensive. They get so pricey. And this is actually my favorite belt that I own out of any of them. It's the least expensive, and I have it in black, white, blue, brown, I have it in five colors now, so it's just such a good one. These jeans are Abercrombie, my favorite cowboy boots from Tacobas. These are the Josie. I recommend getting the Annie first, but the Josie are just like my personal favorite, but the Annie are like the easiest upkeep and they match everything. Um, and then my earrings, as always, are out jewels. So we're gonna get some work done, be productive, and see where today goes. All right, I've been in meetings. I think I only have two more. Very productive. I'm so excited for year of all. Guys, I was gonna say this year. I'm really excited for this year, like business-wise. A lot of really exciting things are happening, even just in the next two months, but for a friend of mine specifically. So I'm going to, I'm working on like another deck. So I'm gonna brainstorm some stuff for that and then hop on my last call at two kylie's coming over and we are filming oh i need to charge up camera we're gonna film a kitchen series video like i said i can't wait for this all to be fixed like it needs we need some things you know i don't know if i've even shown y'all our needlepoint canvases yet in a vlog but a friend of mine is coming out with needlepoint canvases by the time you guys see this vlog they've already dropped what is happening okay I can't really tell. One second. Joys of being a homeowner. Yesterday the AC went out. Now there's water on the floor, but I don't know what this is. I'm just gonna hope for the best here for now. Anyways, serial hobbyist and breadwinning housewife feels very obvious. Um, I just wanted to talk really quickly about needlepoint and pricing, just so it's like very clear. One, what I'm charging for these is actually a lot less than what I should be charging for them retail. Like if you buy from like a wholesaler or like if I'm selling to a wholesaler, like they would have to go up. Needlepoint is pricey because each one of these is hand painted. Like that is, like at first I was like, oh my God, these are so crazy expensive and for what? And then I realized like they're literally all hand painted. Um, and these are pretty big canvases. These will keep you busy for a long time. These are also the best ones to learn on because you can get like your stitching done. Um, but I just think that they're so cute. Like I have two of them. I don't know what, two of each. I don't know what I'm gonna do. So if they're available, I'll have them linked below. If not, y'all can get on the waiting list if we're gonna restock them. Um, but I'm so excited to step into the world of Needlepoint, all right? We're not like fully morphing to Needlepoint, but I definitely want to continue with different canvases because it's just something that I love so much and I think it's so cute and I have so many cute ideas for needlepoint when it comes to a friend of mine. So anyways, I have another meeting in about 15 minutes but I'm actually gonna make some cornbread really quickly to prep. We're making the honor bar salad. We're doing the like kale chicken salad that I'm obsessed with and then Kylie's favorite is the matcha salad and then the cornbread bites, like the croutons. If you guys have ever had the croutons at Honor Bar, they're so good and apparently they're cornbread and you can make those. So that's what we're doing today and I feel like this Cooking with Kinsey video is gonna be really an amazing one that everyone will actually like be cooking immediately or making immediately because they're the best salads ever. Like I'm really truly not a salad girl besides the salad that I make all the time from the dinner project that I just posted an Instagram reel and a TikTok of and then all of our salads. Like other than that, I like sweet green, but like, I'm not like a, oh, I'm craving a salad and greens. That's not my story, you know? These though, I mean, they're probably not that healthy, but look, who cares? They're so good. Hey y'all, I just finished filming with Kylie. I really wanna go on a run today, and I should, but I'm just so exhausted. Like I've been so tired this week, so I'm trying to decide if it's like one of those things where I should like listen to myself, listen to your body, or um, just make myself like take some pre-workout. Kylie just gave me some of her pre-workout. So, oh, these are the electrolytes, just like a hydration drink mix, which I'm excited for. And then this is the pre-workout, the rainbow snow cone. 
and it sounds like it's gonna be amazing so part of me wants to try this and see and go on my run tonight because i'm getting a blow this is so stupid but i'm getting blowout in the morning going to this head massage place so i don't know but i'm unboxing a lot of stuff right now that um is for the home so i got a lot of new pillows the lights that i got for above my art pieces i don't like so i'll return those and get new ones because like should i take this pre-workout right now or should i go to bed at seven yeah I don't know. This is what's difficult, guys. Oh, we made the best salad ever. We did like copycats of the honor bar salads, the macho, and then the kale chicken salad. The macho is so good at eating it now. The kale chicken was good, but like it's not the same. We're doing a little taste test. I need to take a makeup off immediately. It tastes like candy like a popsicle. Well, didn't they say it was something? Rainbow snow cone. Yep, that'll do it. We'll see if this pre-workout does something for me, but I'm also just so tired. And I do wanna get this home stuff situated. So let's test some things out. y'all so these are all the pillows that i got from amazon these are the ones that i was iffy on but i just wanted to see obviously it's giving grandma but i do really like these green and blue and then these actually like match even better than i thought they would like they look like they're supposed to be here so i'm gonna like mess around with it and see what i think i'm not sure about these but i do like i mean i don't know i that's definitely not the vibe but we're just gonna test it out and see. These are off my Amazon though, so I'll put everything on the storefront because I'm so impressed by these. And they even have like the tabletop lines and stuff that are like scalloped like this and they're really nice. Can you tell he's a doodle? I think it's cute. It's just like adding a little something to the living room. I definitely need to add some blankets. I have so much stuff just to make it a little bit cozier. proud of myself because I'm going on the run. The pre-workout is definitely pre-workouting. I am so excited right now because I just got an email. Next week in real time is like ACM week in Texas. They're actually hosted in Frisco, which is, I'm from McKinney, which is like 40 minutes north of Dallas and Frisco. This is how next to it. I actually lived in Frisco uh, when I was in like kindergarten and first grade. But they're hosted there at the Star now. Um, and it's just a big week of events. I don't love going to like influencer events, like period. Unless it's like a brand that I am like, obsessed with, whatever. I don't like going to events, just to events. But ACM week is so big because like I love country music. It's my favorite thing in the world. And all the invites start rolling out like basically a week before. And I just got invited to an event. With Jelly Roll and I am like Jelly Roll's number one fan. Like Jelly Roll and Bunny, I know I've talked about them before, but like I am so obsessed with them and I'm really excited. I'm going to a couple other things too. Um, so that'll be fun, but it is, it does suck because Macy's actually out of town. So I'm like, all right, who's gonna go to these events with me? But it's gonna be like so much fun. I'm literally so excited. Anyways, I'm going on my run. Today is a two mile run. That's the longest I've ran consecutively i'm on my running journey i'm not a natural runner at all um but it's just been something that's like really helpful to me this year and i really want to be the person that loves running and can run like but i'm training for like a 5k right now so like i want to be able to do three miles and i'm running um the mambo 5k if you guys are in dallas and running and i am running that um i'm a very slow runner by the way but i'm running that with macy's like best friend or other best friend so I'm really excited for that, but I need to train for that. But then I want to get to the point where I can run like five miles. Like I think that's so cool. And 
when a lot of your life is like when you're traveling or when things get crazy or whatever it's just so nice to be able to just like go rod and that's it like you don't need any equipment you're done you know whatever with that being said i'm gonna make a miranda lambert like carrie underwood running playlist because i've just searched one on spotify and like i've been listening to like the early 2000s one but i'm gonna make one that's like early 2000s female country running playlist because that's what i need i feel like i'm like kind of jittery it's the pre-workout but i also have been using the nike run app or what is it yeah nike run club nike the nike running app so much better than couch to 5k i used to use couch to 5k whenever i was trying to get into running that was boring like coach Bennett, i would literally die for that man it is the best running app ever couch to 5k is like so good but like something about coach bennett just like makes me want to run you know like i don't love when like coach bennett's not on there but still so anyways wish me luck on my two mile run i'm just telling myself that i can do it and that's it also if y'all are a runner what sports bra should i be wearing i have like good supportive sports bras and stuff but i feel like i just need a whole new like refresh of fitness wear and stuff so if y'all are a runner please give me all of your tips down below and also like what you guys wear um but yeah i'm like so excited now that i'm going to a jelly roll thing i am so out of breath i got back from my run like 20 minutes ago i did my two mile run it was very difficult. I haven't ran in like a week. I've really not been as consistent as I would like to be. Um, so I'm working on that. I'm not a fast runner by any means, but I did that in like 21 minutes, 22 seconds, which is like a 1030 mile, which is so crazy because growing up, running an 830 mile was like easy. Like remember when you would do, at least in like Texas, we would do this like state testing and you would fail if you ran over a 10 minute mile. And now I'm like, oh my God, I'm literally dying. Anyways, whatever. I'm proud of myself for just doing it and it was tough i'm not gonna lie but it was also because i've really not been consistent in the past couple of weeks running like i've not been consistent literally at all but i'm back i'm actually making a little gift for my neighbors that just moved in like this is how you're really an adult i'm literally making a welcome to the neighborhood gift i wrote i have a little note in here i'm gonna give them dinner cards and then social bird rosé is my favorite rosé so hopefully they like rosé um i have a, a couple of these because i buy them and i've been using them as like gifts and stuff i need to put tissue paper in here but oh guys like i just can't believe that i'm like still out of breath and i've been running around the house since getting back i got like a bunch of packages that i needed to unbox there's been so many packages today and like I was doing this earlier, you guys probably saw them, and I was cutting them, and now they're not holding, so I need to get a little, like, rubber band so they'll stay up, and then cut these, but, like, honestly, I'm gonna wait till my mom gets here, because she's, like, better at that stuff. Guys, like, honestly, and now I'm drinking the powders, like, high, like, electrolyte packets. Marathon runners, like, you're my hero, seriously. Like, this is insane. They're probably, like, what is wrong with this girl, but, hey, progress is progress, I'm proud. So glad I went on that run and I didn't just go to bed at 7. I got stuff done in my garden. My house feels really good. I put laundry away. I showered. I dry brushed. I'm wearing my white Everjay pajama set. Everjay pajamas. Like, there's truly nothing. Nothing like them. Um, honestly, these pillows are growing on me. I can't remember what I said in the TikTok versus this vlog, but I wasn't sure I felt about the green floral, but I'm like kind of into it. I like more of an eclectic sort of vibe um so we'll see i mean i texted my mom maybe she'll hate them i'm not getting insecure i'm watching impulsive this is like something you would never guess about me like i love impulsive i love h3 i love just trish i love like internet culture shows i feel like um but me watching impulsive like religiously is something you would just not expect about me so i need everyone to share a fun fact about them that would shock everyone that knows them in the comments below on the first, I love impulsive. Like, that's just not really what you'd expect of me as I'm decorating my house like a grandma. It's 8.40 p.m. I am never out of my room past, like, 7.30, especially this year. Like, I'm in bed at 7 p.m. every night, basically. 
but it's kind of nice. So anyways, I finished this morning Abby Jimenez's latest book, Just for Summer. I've rated pretty much every single book of hers a five star, and this is like a 4.5. It was still really good. I loved the premise. It wasn't Grumpy Sunshine, but like, it was kind of Grumpy Sunshine. I love a Grumpy Sunshine trope, and um, I don't know, I really did like it. She has like my favorite romance novels, but Carly Fortune's new book came out actually today. I loved her first book. I don't remember her second book. I don't think that that was like really well received. Like I literally don't remember the book at all. Um, but I ordered the second or the third one today and I am gonna start that. I've been trying to get back into reading. I looked today as of like May, whatever today is. I have only read five books this year, which is crazy. There's like a couple books that I'm not fiction that I just haven't finished yet, but that is so unlike me, but I just haven't been reading because I was needle pointing so much. And then I just kind of got out of the habit and that's, I normally read like five books at least a month and I'm trying to get back to it. I feel like this summer I'll be reading a lot more just because I'll be outside by the pool all the time, which I'm looking forward to. But honestly guys, the vibe of my house right now is kind of incredible. Like it is, even just looking at this stuff, ignore those hydrangeas right there. And then it's just all over tree. It's like kind of crazy, but it's so cozy right now. I'm just loving it. All right, I'm going to bed and I will be sleeping with my mouth tape. I used this last night and I sleep so much better. It's actually crazy. I wake up feeling refreshed and I have not felt that way in so long. It's been so difficult for me to even get out of bed, honestly, for, you know, a couple reasons, but it really makes the biggest difference. I even got on a subscription. So I'll link this. This is the Skinny Confidential. I've used the Amazon stuff before. I like this the best. I still do have an issue with it taking my tanner off, but like any sort of tape is going to do that. Um, but this is by far the best. I'm putting it on. I won't be able to talk. And you look a little crazy. You really do. But it is the biggest game changer for me with sleep. Like if I were to take like, let me sleep and do this every night, I mean, my God, it's so good. Okay, good night, everyone. <laughs> this is not real. Okay, good night. getting a blowout slash little like head massage thing at I don't even remember where it is but it's with Bondi Boo so I'm very excited and I just realized it's literally right next to my where I weight lift so that's convenient I'm wearing this set from Year of Ours it feels weird to wear like a skirt to weightlifting I've done it once before when I had something after but like I wanted to be able to wear something cute still to my blowout you know so this is Year of Ours I love it I should have sized down um, it's a little just, I feel like it just should have been a little bit more fitted, you know? So, size down, but your bars, I'll link it below. And then these sneakers have been my best purchase. I wear them 24-7. Like, they are just the best. Also, a lot of people have been commenting, telling me I need Brooks running shoes. And I used to have some. I don't know where they went. They sent me some and I loved them. I must have gotten lost in the move, but I agree. I should try something new out, you know? I'm really proud of myself for that run yesterday. It was hard. And here's the other issue. It's very difficult for me to be a runner in the morning. I'm such a morning workout girl. Like, I don't, I would much prefer to work out in the morning, get it over with, start my day off that way. I do think I have more energy in the evening for workouts, but I just like it better. But running in the morning is really difficult for me and I feel so sluggish, like my body is just heavy. So like we'll pre-workout all up with that and uh, also uh, pretty soon I'm not gonna have a choice I'm gonna need to be running at like 6 30 in the morning because it's gonna be so hot here. So 
I'm not even gonna have the option of running later. Like, it'll be so miserable. And then I want to be in the pool, you know? This coffee is the best. The Chobani creamers are so good. I don't like the cookie dough one. The sweet cream is my favorite. And then the white chocolate mocha. So good. Hey, we're off. All right, y'all. I just got out of my blowout and my head massage. Where is my phone? Right here. Okay. I went to the Sage Head Spa and then Bondi Boost. They're coming out with a... Um, tool that's like the Dyson dupe and it's a way better price point even cheaper than the shark and it was just amazing and it feels so nice to just have my hair so clean you guys know how I feel about blowouts they're really like the way to my heart and then I got to try out the new products and I'm really excited now I'm heading home I cannot wait to be home every time I leave it I'm just waiting to go back you know also y'all this set from here of ours is so cute I left my workout and my coach texted me because she's literally buying this court court score and I forget what this is I know I showed y'all but I'll link it below size down year of ours is by far my favorite well no I wouldn't say by far I would say set and year of ours are pretty tied year of ours stuff I think I, I feel like I keep a little bit longer but sometimes like the design of set I love just depends set active and year of ours are my top two love their stuff I have year of ours stuff that I've kept for like years and and set honestly Years and years and years. The tank I'm wearing under this is set, so I'm a nice in between. But um, Year of Ours is a higher price point, but the quality is insane and you keep it forever. Just keep that in mind. I also think I definitely have a Year of Ours discount code. I might have a set active discount code too. I don't know if set does discount codes. Year of Ours, I have one. It's either Kinsey, Kinsey 10, or Kinsey 20. It's one of the three. Guys, I wish I could say it's been uneventful since getting back home, but uh, no. I got home, I went into my room, I was sitting on my bed, charging my phone, posting some YouTube shorts. I hear something weird, I look up, there is a bird on my fan, and I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. So I open the door, there's doors all over my house, like it's all very like outdoor centric, centered, and I was like, oh, for sure it's gonna just fly out. No, it flies to my bathroom. And I'm like, well, I need a shower, I worked out, I need a shower. Then I get pushed to my guest bathroom because Birdie has taken my bathroom. And I was like, all right, fine. And then I decided, you know what? I'm gonna do my skincare with Birdie because that's where it is. And I'm just gonna film a TikTok. Birdie doesn't like me on camera. So Birdie flew out. Then Birdie's in my bedroom again. And I'm like, all right, bye, bye, Birdie. He keeps hitting the windows. He keeps flying into the windows. What if he dies? And then there's a dead bird in my room. And then um, I thought, oh, I didn't see him actually leave. But I was like, he must have left. Oh, Fitz is just hanging outside. Why can't Birdie get the hint? He just can't get the hint. So then I'm like, okay, it's gonna be totally fine. He's gonna walk out. He doesn't walk out. So I think he's gone though at this point. Then I come back out with Coco and I see little birdie, little birdie walking back under my bed. Birdie is the new squatter. He's actually taken over Dom's place from when Dom was a squatter. Birdie is a squatter. I have a new roommate. He isn't leaving. Thank God I'm not deathly terrified of birds. I mean, listen, it doesn't feel great having a bird in my home because the bird's not supposed to be there. Also, I realized this bird had to arrive around 7.30 a.m. Because I woke up and at 7.30, so I'm going to let the, do like, the dogs out and I opened that door sometimes. The bird got in. I shut the door. I left for my workout. And then I was gone because then I went to that blowout after. And it's like noon. And that bird is still there. So that bird was sitting in my room in the house with the dogs. The door was shut, I always shut my doors, but that's scary. Like now I need to be testing, or now I need to be checking for like live animals. Animals that are up and about in my house when I leave, not just the dogs. So I don't know when birdies gonna leave. Like imagine if I woke up in the middle of the night and there was a bird under my bed. Imagine that. Am I not supposed to open my doors anymore? Like, oh my God, I mean, I, maybe not. Also the tan on my face is messed up. I had like a, the tan from Salty Face and then it's like gotten off weird so there's like a whole, but we're just not gonna talk about it. It's fine, okay? I'm just sitting here waiting for Birdie to leave. There's literally a bird. But I did name him obviously, so we're kind of close. All right, y'all, I just got Kava. I'm trying to get more into Kava. Macy likes Kava and it would just make our lives better, but also I love the good lemonade type of drink and this cucumber lime drink from Kava is so good. And I also love a meatball. So I got this little, not little, it's actually really big. The spicy lamb meatball pita. As I'm stepping into my Kava era, um, and I actually like, I think my taste buds are changing because I actually really like it. Let me know what you guys get at Kava. Like what should I be trying? What should I be doing? Is there a straw? Yes. 
I had some exciting meetings for a friend of mine, collabs, some things happening. And then I've been working on my backyard design. I'm working with Yardzen. It's like an online platform that will design your landscaping. And I'm redoing the patio landscaping because I hate the rocks and I want it to feel cozy and pretty. And I feel like it's such a missed opportunity if I don't lean into that out there just because the entire, it's like a, the house is like a horseshoe around that patio. So I feel like it would make every room feel and look prettier because that is the view. So I've been doing that and then just working on a bunch of content stuff. Having a kind of cozy, lazy afternoon at home, but it's a productive, lazy afternoon. I'm very tired and honestly, I think I'm just gonna lay in bed and read tonight. There's a lot of new books out, hello, that I really wanna read. I also, by the way, I finally finished Imagine Heaven last night. It's a grief book. Um, parts of it I found really helpful, other parts of it like weren't really like my thing, but parts of it were really, really helpful. And um, I started the Joan Didion A Year of Magical Thinking book last night. I'm at like 30%. I'm also just reading normal fiction books and stuff. But Emily Henry came out with a new book. I Okay, Fitz, seriously, we have to, I have to vlog. Emily Henry came out with a new book um, that I want to read. Renee Carlino, I'm getting the early copy of her next book, which I'm so excited for. I don't have it just yet because I forgot to respond to the email. But I really want that because Brooke loved it and said it's about like this, cu this couple breaking up. I'm like, I would love a sad, like make you cry kind of book right now. I loved Abby Jimenez's book that I just finished. I'm really back in my reading era. So I'm gonna do that. Honestly, I could like potentially even get in the pool today. Like when's gonna be the first day of the season in the next week? But I don't know if I'll have time next week because it's ACM week. It's gonna be busy and then I leave for LA. So I'm trying to just have a nice kind of chill week at home, but I'm watching some podcast. Getting some work done, worked on some house stuff, and I'm gonna eat my kava. Okay, I know I'm drinking too much coffee right now, but honestly, going through a rough time, let me live, you know? But I'm just so exhausted. Like, I know obviously there are like deeper things going on with me right now, but like, I'm just so tired right now. I wanna make sure she's not. And it's not normal to have like three iced coffees a day. Granted, I have one of them like before my workout, so I feel like it really wears that off at least. We need to talk about this coffee creamer though. We really need to talk about it. It's so good. Finally, on with your body training, like everyone's been telling me. I guess I would just see. So, my Smeg coffee maker, the coffee pot that I love, it's so cute. It's so cute. And part of me wants to get the espresso machine, like the little one. I know I probably should have just gotten them all together, if that was possible, I don't know. But I was at Keaton's and Keaton made me the best latte ever. It was seriously so good. Truthfully, I don't even like lattes, but her latte was so good. I mean, she's got the whole thing. She has got the syrup, she's got everything. So ever since then, I'm like, I really want one. And then I was thinking it'd be nice in the afternoon if I really needed caffeine to just have a cute little like espresso cup, which I do like a nice little shot of espresso, but I love the little like espresso cups, mugs, shots. <sighs> okay, on my reading docket, I actually need to go. Oh, by the way, I went back and checked my room. I brought back up, AKA Fitz. I think that the bird is either gone, it escaped, or it's sleeping somewhere in my room. And I, I checked under the bed where it was and it wasn't there. So anyways. Um, oh, I want to read Becoming Trader Joe as well because my friend Maggie Sellers, Pot Smart Rich, literally one of the greatest girls in the entire world. Like, I would literally die for her. Um, she started a book club and that was one of their books and I really would like to get back into like some business reading as well. But now that I'm like back on my reading kick, I'm just so all or nothing with things. Like, my gosh, you know? I've been working on my backyard landscaping thing. I need to submit that and then get back to work but the exciting stuff is that we have some cute little collabs what are brands that y'all think friend of mine should collab with because i feel like that's kind of like the next move not like from what you guys would see but like for me i'm like i do want to do a couple little i have some ideas but if y'all have any brands that you're like oh this would be perfect like please let me know did y'all know that they discontinued kindle oasis it's like isn't that kind of crazy that feels a little crazy to me Sometimes I just need to lay and that'll get my energy back. I love everything being cut up here. Like it is way cuter.
Hi y'all, happy Thursday. I have just been recording some solo podcast episodes. I did one and now I'm doing the second. This is like a home one. We're bringing out the photos. It's like a whole nostalgic podcast. I think we're really gonna like it, but yeah, I just realized I haven't even talked to the camera today. It's because I've been podcasting. It's hard to vlog when I'm podcasting because it's like, all right, and he just said that. So, look at Fitz right now. He was my podcasting buddy and then he ditched. I'm wearing my overalls, which are like literally my favorite thing in the world to wear. These are free people, but I need like a ton more. Oh God. I had a chill, cozy morning. I think I am gonna run today, which like I don't want to. It's gonna rain, so we'll see. Um, but I love this room, it's so cute. I really used to spend a lot more time in here. I just am not really gonna be recording much in Dallas because I'm doing a couple batch trips. Do you guys like, if you watch the vlogs, do you also listen to the podcast? Or did you find me from the podcast? Or did you find me from YouTube? I just bit my tongue. Um, but I think I like the podcast episodes better in studio. Like, I don't know what it is. I feel like I'm just, be I'm more, I have like worse brain fog when I'm in here. And an ideal dream world, what I want to do is open a friend of mine office and then have a studio for house guests in there and build out like a set so that it looks a lot better and it's just like an easier place and it's not in my house and it's just easier basically. I do like solo episodes better here just because I feel like I need privacy for solo episodes even though like literally so many people are going to listen to it but it's fine, you know. Alright, here's my perfect angel boy. We're gonna go record our home episode. It started to rain right after that clip, so maybe running is just happening tomorrow morning. But anyways, I wanted to show you guys this. I had all these photos, like we've been going through like childhood photos and stuff recently, and I found a bunch of myself like gardening and like this is so me, like all like patchwork stuff and Here's me in the garden as a kid and whatever. So anyways, I was using these photos for this home podcast episode I just recorded because my whole thing is like I'm playing into like nostalgia and a lot of what I like now and what I found to be like my actual true style has been the stuff that I loved as a kid because I feel like, well, yes, it's really heavily affected by your parents at that point. Like things that you like when you're older and like the trends that you follow are really affected by like outside things like people, celebrities, culture, whatever. Anyways, my whole thing was that like, I just really have realized that I love the stuff that I loved when I was a kid. Anyways, I'm going through photos and I'm showing like different things of like, even this, this is actually me and my brother, it makes me wanna cry, but um, like you can see the house, it's like green striped pillows. I have a green striped pillow, florals, like more eclectic kind of vibes. Anyways, all right, wait for it guys. I am literally wearing this outfit right now. It's me as a child in blue overalls, white long sleeve. Me now. Who wore it best? Isn't that kind of crazy? I didn't, I mean, obviously I knew I wore overalls all the time, but like, that's the exact same outfit, okay? It's not the cutest photo of me, but like, whatever. It's fine. I just ordered Hudson House for dinner. I was going to cook, and I should have, but honestly, I'm tired. And Hudson House burger sounded so good. So that's what I'm doing. This was just so right, the right call. Hudson House burger, nothing like it. I'm so happy right now because my TV frame has arrived a day early. So I'm actually going to set that up right now. It's the same one that I have in my living room or my bedroom. It's gonna be so good. Guys, I am like in such a good mood. I feel like I really liked the solo podcast. I don't know why, I just feel like my podcast is like in its flop era, and so I'm hoping that these like batch trips help. I just feel like really all over the place, even though the podcast is supposed to be lifestyle and all over the place. I just, I don't know, like I think honestly it could just be like this year and what I'm going through and whatever. I also don't feel like I'm great at solo episodes, like they're really difficult. And I'm jealous people who have co-hosts, but I don't want to co-host, so that's the other issue. But yeah, it could all just be in my head, who knows. I'm really excited for the episodes that we have coming, so I feel like once I'm in LA, I'll be like, okay, like, no, it's great, but I don't know. But anyways, um, I'm feeling good, and I'm going to set this up. It's gonna, it doesn't take long at all. They're expensive, which is annoying, but it looks so good, and it's fast, and it's very easy. Like, I can do it.
it definitely looks a lot better. I don't love my fireplace. Like, it's not what I would have picked. It's nice, like, a modern one. I wish it was just wood, honestly. But, yeah, I think it looks a lot better with the frame. I'm happy with it. I feel like my living room is looking better. It's not, you know, my dream of, like, what I would want. But I do think this is a lot better with the actual frame. All right, y'all. That is it. Tomorrow's Friday, and I'm just spending... The day with my grandma, so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Is that I have entered my running journey, okay? I've kept this one private, more private than I have in the past because the other times I have been running and I just stopped. All right, I was doing the Couch to 5K app, which is a great running plan, but I think over, I just got bored with it. Nike Run Club, that is what you gotta be doing with Coach Bennett. Coach Bennett is my hero. I love that man.